Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Last episode we completed the seed field exam. In this episode we're going to get our seed rank. We're going to go to the, uh, I guess it's an inauguration slash graduation party. And we're going to go explore the secret area of Balam Garden. But first, real quick, I want to go to card mod in my ability tab. And we had Siren learn Life Magic Refine uh, last episode when we, um... Got the AP from XATM92. So there's two cards uh, I'm looking to card mod. And the first one is Mesmerize. Now I got these Mesmerize cards. Um, you can see how they're level 2 cards because I have so many of them. So I got these cards while I was grinding for the Elenol cards um, in the previous episodes. So we want 15 Mesmerize cards to refine to 15 Mesmerize blades. And then you can either do Tonberry, as you see here. I don't have a lot of Tonberry cards because he's in with that Triface. Um, I believe they're level 3 cards. Yeah, level 3, level 4, level 5. And so the other one you could use is Tonberry King. You can see that they both refine into Chef's Knives. Doesn't matter. Um, I need 12 Chef's Knife cards. And that's it right now. There is more that I could do. But I can't give everyone that spell, so I don't want to do it right now. So real quickly, we'll go to Life Magic Refine. And if we go to the Mesmerize Blades, we get 20 regens, which is actually a pretty powerful spell to have at this point in the game. So everyone will get 100 regens, and Chef's Knife will refine into 30 deaths. So Squall will get 100, Zell will get 100, and Selfie will get 100. So real quick, uh, just go into their junctions real quick. Uh, Zell, if we junction death, believe it or not, death or regen, to his uh, spirit, it'll raise it. Um, yeah, regen will raise his vitality, so we'll do it like that. And if we go to Squall, we can actually... Let's see. Yeah, I could junction death to his magic, or I could put it on his elemental attack to either have an instant kill or 100% protection against death. Uh, we'll do that later. Right now, I'm going to put it on his magic stat. There will be a boss much later in the game where everyone will have to have death junction to their um, status defense. But don't worry about that for now. And for Selfie, could junction death or regen to her HP. It's a great HP junction. Let's see. Regen. Or, yeah, well, we can do regen to her vitality. And Tornado still beats out death as far as... Magic. Okay, so that's it. I'm good for now. So just hold on to those spells if you're not going to use them, and we will enter the garden. And as you run forward, Zell stretches and says, Ah, we finally made it back with such a long walk. Okay, so we just got to wait for the test results. And they say bye to Squall. And we're not going to be chivalrous. I'm just going to head all the way back to um, the directory. Basically, that's where the game will take you. Because there's going to be a certain number of instructors that are having a conversation there. So just keep on running. Keep breathing. That's the key. Run through the gate. Okay, and you can see, I've actually never talked to these two guys. I don't know if you can. Oh, what's up, dudes? Oh, Galbadia's real target is the communication tower. But signals are useless. Huh, that's odd. Now, if you want to save your game here... Yeah, oh, they're still going to carry on their conversation. Eh, last week's exam. Whatever. Any form of communication using radio signals can't be used. Well, that's unfortunate. So you just want to run forward and you'll uh, be forced to interact the scene with Zoo, Quistus, and Sid. All candidates are back safely. That's pretty good. Uh-huh. The Galbadian army was after the communication tower. And we'll find out why they were um, after it later. Uh, pretty soon, actually. And they just uh, received word from Dalit 
that the Galbadian army is agreed to withdraw as long as the communication tower is repaired and the uplink remains operational. Uh, maybe you could have sent him an email instead of invading him? Okay, Galbadia's out of there. Yeah, could have made more money if uh, we had a little more fun there. Alright, so I just want to talk to Zoo real quick. And she says you did pretty well, and Quistus is like, yeah, he's my student. My best student. Yeah, that's very true. Squall is not very social right now. And talk to Sid. I'm just going to say it felt good. To actually fight, it was a good feeling. And Sid's going to basically say, don't get cocky. So once you're done with Sid, uh, you can run up here. And if you notice, you can't head to the left because of those two guys standing there. You can only head to the right, and that's because off to the right, Cypher's waiting. So let's go talk to Cypher. I don't know if heroes is the right word to use, but whatever. And Quistus says, ah, you're only looking for a fight, Cypher. And once again, Cypher's going to overestimate his abilities, calls Quistus a mediocre instructor. And Zoo's gonna fire back on Quistus's behalf. And they're going to have an argument. Cypher's going to be like, hey, isn't it the captain's duty to take the best possible action? And Zoo's going to fire back and says, you'll never be a seed. Calling yourself the captain is a joke. And Cypher's going to stand there and pout as Zoo walks away. And I don't know if he's crying or if he's just shaking with anger right there. It's never actually explained as uh, Sid walks in. And Sid will dismiss Quistus, and he'll have a little chat with Cypher. Who immediately stops crying the second uh, Sid addresses him. And basically tells Cypher, yeah, you're going to be disciplined, but I'm not... I'm not entirely without uh, sympathy for you. And we'll learn more about Sid later. Yeah, he doesn't want us to all become machines. He wants us to be able to think and act for ourselves critical thinking. And the garden faculty is going to come here to interrupt Sid. And you notice how the faculty are constantly interrupting Sid? Um, that'll be explained later in the game. And if you talk to Cypher, he does nothing. If you talk to the faculty, though, she's Seed shall not act beyond the exact wording of a contract. We are not a non-profit organization. This incident will be a hard-learned lesson for the Dalit dukedom. Hmm. Well, that'll all be explained later in the game on Disc 2, but for right now, just keep it in the back of your mind, and if you run back towards the directory, you can hear the tones telling you to meet on the second floor hallway. All students who took the field exam report to the second floor hallway. Okay, so just head to the elevator, it'll automatically take you up to the second floor. So we're going to head to the second floor hallway real quick. And you just want to talk to everyone that you can, so first things first, we'll talk to Fujin. Oh, she just says Rage. That's eh, probably not good. So let's talk to Ragin. Oh, it's going to be our fault if Cypher doesn't become a seed. It's going to be his own fault for not following orders, but whatever. Oh, she can be pretty scary, you know? Nah, she's a pushover. We will we'll have a little nice little fight with Fujin and Rajin later in the game. Can talk to Zell right here. And he just says, sup. Gonna call out names one at a time. And you can talk to this guy whose heart is beating a mile a minute. Thump, 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 thump. This dude doesn't say anything, and this girl doesn't say anything. So basically, you just gotta wait um, a certain amount of time that it takes for the garden faculty to come out and uh, call the names. There we go. And Zell is called forward. Now, he's gonna run very awkwardly. Just look at him as he runs off. Like he's, like he's high-stepping it into the end zone or something. 
And Squall passed. Yay! <laughs> I like the three doing their little coordinated. Ah, oh, I can't believe I didn't get in movement. Oh, so the four students that passed today's exam there's us, there's Zell, there's Selfie, and someone else. Congratulations. From now on, you'll be dispatched all over the world. Combat specialists. And Sid's going to go into a... Well, he's going to try to go into a longer explanation about the true nature of Seed, but he's going to be cut off by the faculty again. Once again, there's some friction there that we will... Uh, we will see later in the game. We'll be evaluated later in the game. It's a valuable asset to garden. Its reputation is solely dependent on each of you. Handle your mission with care. Is that what you wanted to say, sir? So, Sid's going to go ahead and shake uh, each of our hands and give us our seed report. So, he's going to tell Selfie he's looking forward to the garden festival. And he's going to tell this guy right here, who is Nita, that do your best even if you don't stand out. We'll learn more about Nita later. He'll tell Zell to try to control his emotions. And his little tidbit for Squall will be, oh, finally, a Gunblade Specialist. So with that, we are going to be dismissed. However, what you want to do is you want to talk to Sid real quick. He's going to give you a battle meter to uh, get more information in the battle report section of the, of the tutorial. We can only get it at one other point in the game. I recommend to get it right now just so you don't miss it. And we'll leave the hallway, or leave his office I should say, and head into the hallway. And if we talk to Nita right here, after 17 years of suffering, my chance has finally arrived. The uh, what, dude? And then he says, I'll be the ruler of this garden someday. Eh, keep dreaming. Talk to Zell. And he's gonna say, let's get back to class. What do you mean, why? Do you remember what new seed members do? Give a speech in front of the entire class, and then the inauguration party. Talk to Selfie, and she'll just say, seed, seed, seed. And we can just head on over here into the hallway. Uh-oh. Cypher's there. Maybe he wants to have a fight. And he begins the applause for us. And everyone joins in. And I don't know if that was a salute by Squall or if he was just face palming, but whatever. Alright, so I'm not going to have the best report, as I told you. Conduct, 70. Judgment, 0. Probably for all the escaping that I did. Spirit and attitude, I'm not 100% sure about. Probably uh, talking to people. Uh, attack, I got 100 because I killed 75 enemies. Well, a lot more than 75. So I start with seed rank of 6. However... I wonder if I can do it right now. As we walk into our dormitory and selfies there. It's a pretty nice seed uniform you got there. So if you talk to her, she, she'll say, Oh, you should get changed too. We have that party to go to. So we'll walk into our bedroom. However, I wonder if I can do it now. Before I get changed... Let's take a seed test and let's boost our seed level to level 10. Um, it's just smart to do a couple tests, get a little more money earlier in the game. But eventually money will not be an issue, but let's get a little more to start with. Draw command, extracts magic from enemies. Yes. GF stands for Garden Fighter. No. Eight elemental attributes. Attributes. Yes. Uh, higher strength causes more physical damage. Yes. HPJ is a junction ability. Yes. Uh, you can't assign... S nope, that's a no. Magic uses MP, that's a no. You can name your Guardian Force, yep. You can wear protective gear, no. And G GF level up with AP, no, they level up with experience. So our rank goes up to 7. So let's take 3 more tests. 
And actually, uh, well, we'll go through the second test. Uh, you raise your vitality by junctioning magic, yes. Uh, Squall's weapon is the gauntlet, no. You can stock drawn magic, yes. Uh, yep, you get poisoned every turn. Being hit with a physical attack removes Confuse, that's true. Uh, let's see, Squall's limit break is Kenzakuken, nope, Renzakuken. Uh, matching junction ability to junction magic, yes. Signifies a junction ability, yes. And... Eight elements, fire, ice, thunder, poison, earth, sorcery. No, there is no sorcery. And there's a limit to how much magic you can draw from monsters. It's going to say no. Um, we can stock a maximum of 100, so that question kind of trips people up. All right, so let's go two more. Level three test. Okay. Potions can restore our guardian forces HP. No. Magic can only be acquired by drawing from enemy. No, there are draw points in the world. Selfie's weapon is the nunchuck. Yep. You only need money to remodel your weapon. No, we've already seen that. Uh, whoever strikes the finishing blow... Oh, whoever strikes the finishing blow in battle receives the most experience. Yes. GF also have levels. The higher their levels, the stronger their attacks. I believe this one is yes. That is a command ability. Okay, question eight. Let's see. Uh, each party member can have up to five character and party abilities. That's no. Uh, command abilities must be set to be used in battle. That's true. And AP means ability points, so no. All right, one more. We'll go up to level 10. Okay, only Squall can use a gun blade. That's not true. Cypher does. Attach attack magic can be used against party members. That's true. There is an ability that allows you to make magic from items. That's true. We've seen it. We've used it. Higher vitality reduces physical damage. That's true. Blue magic is learned by being attacked by a monster. That's false. Uh, the magic dispel cures poison. That's false. If you are KO'd in battle with status change, but you revived after battle, the status change is removed. That's true. Uh, T Rex is a monster that lives in Balam Garden's training center. That's also true. And Squall's gun blade causes more damage by pressing the trigger. Um, it's, I don't believe it's B9, so I'm going to say no. And you can stock up to 255 of each magic. Nope, you can stock 100. Alright, so now that we are seed level 10, we will go ahead, we will get changed. And we'll head off to the party. And I probably should tell you now that this is going to be a longer episode than you're used to. Might even be close to an hour. I think I'm about 20 minutes in right now. And yeah, let's just start drinking. I think that's supposed to be champagne, even though it looks like it's an empty glass. And he'll take a sip. Yo, Squall. And Zell says, hey, you know, since we're both seeds, put her there. <laughs> Squall being a dick, just taking a drink. And Zell's gonna run off. Oh, it's typical of you. Yeah, that's true, Squall. You may not care about other people, but eventually people are gonna start having opinions about you. And Selfie tries to corral him about the Garden Festival Committee, and Zell's just gonna go ahead and take off. Oh, so now she's gonna corral us into it. And you can either be a dick, or you can say that, yeah, you'll help her out. We're going to have to help her out later anyway, so. So, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we'll work on the Garden Festival when it's time. So this is the one uh, video, well, at, at least one of the videos I'm probably going to partially talk through. This lady right here, we don't know her name yet, but she is Renoa. Um, a lot of people don't like Renoa. I mean, she can be kind of bratty, but I don't mind the character. And it's sometimes, oh yeah, we are the best looking guy here. You know, viewers, I will say, uh, it's like that with me in my real life, and it is definitely a curse. 
And Squall's really like, I don't want to dance with you. So a lot of people don't like her, and they make those opinions known when they're doing, like, playthroughs, and it, it kind of takes away from any quality, because it's like, dude, just stop bitching about one character over and over. She's one of the main characters that uh, will be with us for the rest of the game. And she says, oh, okay, you're only going to dance with people you like? You're going to like me. You're going to like me. And no matter what you do, she's eventually going to drag Squall off to the dance floor. Who cares if you can't dance? That's another life lesson for you viewers. If you're at a wedding or something, just dance. Who cares? Dance like no one's watching. I made a fool like my, of myself plenty of times on the dance floor. Just have fun with it, or just drink till you don't care. My, my life advice for you guys. And the one thing that's funny about this is Squall is going to go from a horrible dancer to a pretty much perfect dancer. I think this is a waltz they're doing, and if it is a waltz, um, the key for a waltz is if you don't know what you're doing, have a partner who does. I think it's a waltz. I'll look that up later if I remember. So not the most graceful, and he tries to leave the dance floor, but Renault's like, ah, get back here. And this part coming up is funny. A little too close proximity to each other there. Alright, so now I'm going to shut up for the rest of the dance. Yeah, so in case you didn't notice, Squall goes from pretty much a terrible dancer to, Ha! Huh, I know this dance. I've done it before. Alright, and of course this is coming out, and she's going to once again talk to Squall. You're an excellent student. Even that dance was perfect. Well, not the beginning. Whatever, Quistus. See, Squall is just absolutely uh, oblivious to the fact that Quistus has feelings for him. His feelings are going to go away, and they're be they're going to become more of a big sister type feeling. But she do definitely does have an attraction to Squall right now. Oh, so you'll dance with someone you don't even know, but you can't stand to be around me. And one thing I found weird about this scene is so it's the inauguration party. Everyone's in uniform. Quistus is a seed. Why is she not in uniform? Why is she in her... That's her regular dress for the rest of the game. So I don't really understand that, but whatever. It's kind of awkward, Quistus. And she's eventually going to say, uh, we gotta head to the secret area. Well, after that gun battle, I mean, or that, uh, that machine gun action, head into the secret area with Quistus? Eh. Doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world, Squall. It's where students secretly meet up and talk after curfew. I don't think it's secret, because it's inside the training center, which is the one thing that is open 24-7. Um, and Squall says, We're going to tell everyone off for violating curfew? Leave that to Cypher and his cronies. What are you laughing about? And she won't take no for an answer, tells us to get changed and meet her by the training center, and it's her last order. What do you mean it's your last order, Quistus? What do you mean, last order? Nah, eh, she has a lot on her mind. Alright, we'll find out eventually. So we're gonna go ahead and get changed. Luckily the game puts us right into our dormitory. So we'll get changed, and Squall's gonna be kind of a dickbag in this upcoming part of the game. So we're changed, and real quick, I want to switch. So I'll use the switch command. I don't think I've actually show explained this yet. 
So you can see how it's on junction exchange. So I'm going to do a junction exchange between Quistus and Selfie. And now Quistus will have the Guardian Force that Selfie had. She'll have all of her magic. And I want Shiva to... You know what? I'll just do it just because it'll help Quistus with the strength junction because Selfie doesn't have that. So we'll take Shiva off Zell. We'll give Shiva to Quistus. Junction GF Shiva. So now we'll put Tornado on Quistus's attack. Magic Death. And Spirit Blizz... Nah. No, actually I want to do uh, Blizzaga on her attack. So we can do Thundaga there. Yeah, that's fine. And on Squall, we're going to do his um, elemental attack. We're going to do Blizzaga again, just because of an enemy I'm going to meet up with in the training center. So we'll go ahead and we'll head to the training center, and I'll just show you where that is in case you do not remember. It's the, um, it's the area of Balam Garden that kind of has that green outline. So you can see we can't go in the parking garage because a faculty member will tell us off. And we can't go in the library, but the training center is open. And Quistus wants to explain status uh, defense junctions to us, but I don't want to I don't want her to explain to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll fight T Rexar. Um, I'm not gonna worry about status junctioning T Rexar because he's susceptible to sleep. I have a much uh with my strength with Tornado and my Blizzaga on my elemental defense, because t rex is weak to ice, it'll be nice and easy. And in case you don't know about status junction, you can junction 100 magic to your status attack, and anytime you attack an enemy, you will deliver um, that status. So if it's blind, you'll make them blind, if they're susceptible to blind. If it's sleep, you'll make them sleep, go to sleep, if it's susceptible to sleep. Um, I don't really use it much for the attack. I use it mostly for the defense, and we'll go over that later once everyone has status defense junction. And this is a new enemy here. You can draw Sleep or Silence from him. Uh, I don't need Sleep or Silence. Actually, Zell has my sleep, so uh, Zell has eight sleep spells. So real quickly, after this battle, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give those to Quistus. Again, with our strength, physical attacks, nice and simple. And silence powder, yay. So real quickly, I just want to give Quistus the uh, sleep that Zell has. Okay, so Quistus has eight sleep uh, spells. And I also switched Siren to learning uh, status defense junction times two. Eventually, everyone will be able to junction four um, spells to their status defense junction. And before we enter the secret area, I want to find the t Rexar, so I'm going to run around and I'll be back once I found him. Okay, so no t Rexers want to come out and play, so I'm just going to continue on with the story. I'll try to encounter one after this part. So just head into this little path here. It's this pathway to the secret area. And you can see that students are kind of doing some cuddling or uh, having a serious talk out here in the secret area. What do you mean in a while, Quistus? When have you been out here? And it's, Quistus is going to open up her squirt, her squirt, her heart uh, to Squall, who's going to be a dick about it. What's on your mind, Quistus? And Squall's going to tell her, ah, it's after midnight. So Quistus is going to sigh. And then she will eventually let it slip when she wants to talk. The only thing I don't like about this scene is just these long pauses. Oh, she's no longer an instructor. She's just a member of Seed. Who knows, maybe we'll end up working together. Yeah, basically there were some uh, some questions about her judgment as a seed instructor. So she's been demoted from an, an instructor to just a regular seed.
And uh, like I've said, we're gonna find out the reason for Squall's um, his coldness. But he really is just being a dick in this part of the game. Just like, I don't want to get involved with what's going on, just stop talking to me. So she lacked leadership. Well, I mean, we didn't really see any examples of it. Oh, she was a seat at 15, so she was kind of an, a prodigy. And got her instructor license at 17. Okay, so she's she's 18 years old. She's a year older than Squall. And he's just like, dude, are you still talking? And this is where Squall says, Ugh, are you done yet? And he doesn't want to talk about it because he has his own problems and he doesn't want to get involved in other people's problems. <laughs> and he says, go talk to a wall. Oh, what a jerk. Nope, because in everyone has to take care of themselves. That relates to an event that happened in Squall's past. That, like I, that, like I've said before, we will explore. And he just lo leaves, walks away. Okay, so we're done with our little uh, adventure in the secret area. I'm gonna try to encounter a T-Rexar again. Just more pointless, stupid grats. Um, if you encounter a T-Rexar, I've gone through like 10 encounters and I haven't gotten them once. A blizzard on your elemental d um, attack works. You can put... Um, Tornado on your strength, and that'll help, and you'll make mincemeat of him. Uh, Squall will defeat him in about three hits, because he has around 14,000 uh, hit points. Or you can just run away. So, he didn't want to come out and uh, play today, so I don't know what's going on. It was like the second enemy I fought in my playthrough earlier. Somebody help! I'm actually kind of pissed off, because it was so easy to find him in my first playthrough. And a giant hornet's attacking that girl who uh, we saw in the infirmary in the first episode. She knows us in Quisty? Why is she calling Quistus Quisty? So this is Granaldo in Three Raldos, a pathetically easy boss. First things first, you want to have Quistus use her uh, sleep spell and cast it on the Granaldo who's flying around. Okay, once that's done, um, Granaldo just picks up the Raldo so you avoid all attacks. So what we want to do is we want to draw spells from Granaldo, and this is a sleep spell. Or er, sleep, wow, a shell spell. And we're going to draw a hundred of those for each of our characters, and then... Raldo here has Protect, and you can actually cast a Protect on you guys if you want. So we're just going to keep drawing, I'm going to draw 100 Shell for each character and 100 Protect, and I'll be back uh, once that happens. Just so you know, Sleep will eventually wear off, so you may have to recast Sleep on the Granaldo, and if you follow this pattern of putting Sleep on him, he'll never be able to attack you. Okay, so I'm almost done drawing all my Protects and Shells. And just showing you the two attacks uh, that Granaldo and Raldo do. Basically, uh, Granaldo will either pick up um, Raldo and roll him towards Squall, or just throw him to Squall. So there you go, you've seen both attacks. And both characters have 100 of each spell, so one hit. The Squall should do it, yep. There you go, Granaldo, and now the Raldos will just independently attack you for some weak attacks. And with Quistus and Squall, we will make short, short work of them. 
And you can see I cast Protect on both the characters to cut down on the physical damage. And uh, Protect cuts down on your physical um, attacks, or your opponent's physical attacks, and Shell will cut down on ma magic damage. We'll have a very special use for Shell uh, later in the game. Wizard Stone, we don't really need right now, and 14 AP. Alright, so now let's talk to this girl and find out... Wait, what? Who are these two dudes? Oh, she's just gonna go with them, so I guess they're kind of like her guardians or something. Um, you're welcome? We'll find out more about those guys. Guess what? Later in the game. <laughs> Don't worry, eventually everything that you're kind of like, what about? Uh, will be explained later in the game. So to exit, you're just gonna head to the south. There we go. Uh, I was determined to find the T-Rex R and show you the fight. Um, Squall's health is kind of low, so I think we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to cure him. Ouch. All right, dick. So we'll go item. Where's that high potion I got? Yeah, let's give that to Squall. And I don't want to use Renzikuken. I just want to show you that based off my current junctions, yeah. 5,000. This dude has 14,000. We don't even have to let Quistus hit him. We can hit him three times and he'll be done. Like dinner. Uh, if you want, you can actually card T-Rexar. 30 T-Rexar cards will turn into 15 Dino Bones, which we're gonna want. But I already have enough Armadoto uh, cards where I don't have to worry about it. Boom. Done. Easy. Blizzard and Tornado. Ah, uh, er, Blizzaga, excuse me, and Tornado. So nice. And we get a Dino Bone. Alright, just figured I would show the T-Rexar battle. Um, if you want a card, 30 of them to get the T-Rexar cards, if you don't have Armadoto cards, you can get 300 AP that way, so that's not that bad. And Quist will tell Squall, it's not like everyone can get by on their own. Peace out. Okay, couple more things left to do this episode. Just some housekeeping things. First things first, we're going to go ahead. We're going to head back to our dormitory where Zell is waiting for us. And no, viewers, it's not for your fanfiction reasons that Zell is waiting for us. So he's looking all over for us. So they get their own rooms. Your old, your new rooms right across the hall from your old one. Well, that's nice and convenient. And they actually already moved all of our stuff over. Um, it's kind of odd because we did have our own room. We just we had our own bedroom in our previous room, so I don't know why we needed to move. But whatever, we'll take a nap and uh, get some sleep. So, Selfie calls us and says it's time for our first mission the day after our inauguration. Go into Timber, so meet by the north gate, or front gate. I don't remember what that said, I just pressed the X button. So, we can pick up this magazine here, Weapons Monthly April. I will try to remember to go over the Weapons Monthly magazines next episode. Anything to say? No. Well, they're just having their private conversation. We won't get too involved with that just yet. So now all we want to do is head to the north gate. So I'll go ahead and I'll cut that out and I'll meet you guys at the north gate, or front gate. Okay, here we are. We're with Sid, Selfie, and Garden Faculty. Now here comes Alan. He's riding some kind of uh, hover skateboard, a hoverboard. And they call them T-Boards, and they're prohibited within Garden. But we're seeds now, I mean, you know, surely we're not bound to these stupid rules. What? You can't just take our stuff. The hell, dude? Yeah, we know we're members of Seed. But you're still technically classified as a student of the Garden. Ugh. 
Whatever, and we gotta set a rule for all the juniors to abide by. Alright, so Zell's gonna kinda piss and moan a little bit, and Sid will tell us about our first mission. We're going to Timber, supporting a resistance faction. That's our mission. And a member of the faction will contact us at Timber Train Station. And they will say, the forests of Timber sure have changed. And you must resp reply with, but the owls are still around. Keep that in your mind. We will have to use that later in the game. Later in the game, as in like two episodes from now. And Zell's like, wait a minute, it's just us three? And this is where the faculty says, eh, we've agreed to do the mission for very little money. Normally we would never accept such requests, but... And Sid cuts him off, so once again that'll be explored later. Uh, Squall is the squad leader, use your best judgment. And Zell and Selfie are our support seeds. Now real quick, before you leave, you want to talk to Sid. He will give you a cursed item. A magic lamp. Uh, we'll use that episode, or we'll use that, we'll use that item next episode. So I'm just going to leave to the main um, entrance to Balam Garden. And that's really going to be it for this episode. We um, got a lot done, storyline-wise. Uh, we didn't get a lot of rare things. I don't think we even got anything rare. Uh, next episode, however, though, we're going to get a new Guardian Force. We're going to get a new card. And we're going to definitely grind some very important abilities that are going to make our characters even more powerful than they already are. So, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead, ask them. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up. I will see you guys next time.